Hey guys, I wanted to share with you guys my favorites from November. I can't believe it's already December. I'm super excited for Christmas and everything fun with red lips and everything like that. I have been definitely rocking the bold lips lately just because I feel like the winter time is the most perfect time to rock bold lips. So I have quite a few products to share with you guys, but a bunch of them are gonna be lip products. So let's just get right into it. The first product I'm gonna mention is gonna be the lipstick that I have been currently obsessed with. I'm not wearing it right now, but it is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Beeper. I love this color. It's so, so, so pretty. It's a true red. It's pretty much the same red as this, maybe a little bit darker. This is Ruby Woo. Um, I haven't worn this one in such a while, so I thought I'd put it on to try it out and see if I like this one or the Ultra Matte one. And I can say that I honestly like both for different reasons. So I really like this because I wore it the other day for like eight to ten hours and it wore really really well I only needed to reapply twice just because I found that it did flake off in certain areas but I felt like overall that's really not a bad thing if you were wearing it for eight to ten hours for it to flake off just a little bit you're gonna have to reapply with any other lipstick anyways so I just really like this color and I'm excited to use this one for Christmas especially because that's when I'm eating and doing a bunch of things and I know it's not gonna budge on me. So yeah. So the next product I'm going to mention is kinda goes along with the last product I mentioned, the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipsticks. Those are very, very popular right now because they're very, very affordable and they last all day long. So the only thing I found about those is that they can get a little bit drying. So I had really been getting chapped and dry lips a lot after I had been using them. And I didn't know what to do. I was trying a bunch of chapsticks that I always thought worked really well with me and they weren't doing anything for me. So I saw that Amanda Insing recommended the Aqua 4 Lip Repair. I think it was on Snapchat or maybe one of her videos. I'm not too sure. But um, she highly recommended this because she said that it's really good and her dermatologist used it on her when she got the lip injections and I honestly went out right that day and purchased it because my lips had been super super dry because of the ultra matte lips and honestly it has really saved my lips so much and I don't get dry lips anymore whenever I use the ultra matte ones which is really nice okay so the next product I'm gonna mention is the lipstick I wore for my last video which is MAC Rebel Lipstick. This has to be one of my holy grail favorites for the fall time. It's the best plummy type of color for your lips and I love that it's a little bit hydrating. It's just so pretty and it's very wearable. Anybody can pull this lip off. I used to not be able to think that about bold lips. I used to be really intimidated by them, but I would say this is one of the very first ones that I ever did try out and I really honestly loved it. I think it looked really pretty and it just looks really nice for the winter time because that's when I tend to wear bold colors just because I know that it's going to stay put because it's colder, the weather's not as humid, so I just really like wearing bold colors around the winter time. The last lip product that I'm going to mention is a lip gloss. I had been on the search for for a good lip gloss for a while. I am not too crazy about lip glosses that are too opaque and very like strong once you put them on. You can tell right away where the color is. It's just not really my style. I like lips to be really glowy and just natural looking. So I really like a glossy, glossy lip. Um, so I was on the hunt for the right type of color and the right brand and I really think I found a really good one which is the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the color D-Light and it's a very like glossy glossy which is nice because I like to just put it on top of my nudes and I'm done. Okay, the next two products that I have are going to be not lip related um, but I have been just loving this mascara lately and it is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I heard a lot of people kind of raving about this when it had first came out and I didn't really see what the hype would be about. Like it just didn't really seem like anything that would interest me. I'm not very big on high end mascaras because I feel like there's a lot of good ones at the drugstore that I don't want to really purchase like a higher end one. That's just always how I felt. But my mother-in-law purchased this one for me as a gift whenever we were in Sephora one day. She said that she had heard it was really good and she bought one for her and one for me. And I can honestly say that it really gives your, your lashes a very false look. I like that it really lengthens them and that's what I've always loved about mascaras whenever they lengthen them and give them a little bit of volume too. And it really just gives your lips this most false like appearance. It just looks really, really pretty. I am wearing it today, but I'm also wearing false lashes. But 
I can always skip out on false lashes now because of this mascara, which is what I really, really like. Okay, and my last product that I'm gonna mention that I have mentioned so many times before here on my channel, it is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight, and I love this highlight. It's such a good, good highlight. I just, I just can't be without it. Like, I think it's such a good highlight, and I don't know. I had to repurchase it because, like I said, I had broke it before, and I just think this is a very good staple to have in your makeup collection just because it's a very good highlight and it goes with a lot of skin tones and especially for me since I do a lot of freelancing makeup I just thought it's, it was like a necessity. It's just a really good highlight that will match a lot of different skin tones and it's just really pretty and you don't need a lot to build it up. You can really get like a BAM highlight. Okay, so I also wanted to shout out this eyeshadow that I have been really, really loving lately and it is the MAC Nylon Eyeshadow. I know there was a lot of hype about this eyeshadow and I really did not understand what the hype could have been about just a single eyeshadow that you can use anything in the in the tear duct. I just didn't understand it to me personally. But once I got it, I really understood why it's so, so good. I'm wearing it right now. I just think it gives you the perfect, perfect amount of brightness in the inner tear duct. <laughs> I just cannot talk right now. I'm like full, thirsty, and just everything. But <laughs> it just gives you just the most perfect inner highlight. I'm wearing it right now. As you can see, like my inner highlight game is really strong and I put a little bit of it on my nose, like a teensy, teensy amount because it will really make your nose shine. And then I put a little bit right above the cupid's bow and that's it. And then the rest is just regular highlight. I just think it just gives your skin such a pretty, pretty finish. Honestly, everybody that I use this highlight color on, they just instantly, like that's the first thing they ask, what did you put on? And I tell them that it's this eyeshadow and I'm like so surprised because you would think that it's just something so simple. A lot of palettes come with a highlight color and you would think, oh, they're all the same. But really this one truly is a game changer. It is really, really different and I like that about it. Like I really like that strong inner highlight look lately. So I have been loving this MAC Nylon eyeshadow. So that's pretty much it for this video. Those are all my favorites for this month. I know I have a lot of lip products, but I have been loving lips this month. And I just like to experiment and try different things all throughout the winter time with bold lip colors just because I feel like that's the best time to experiment with them. So yeah, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and please stay tuned for more videos because I will be making more more consistently again and yeah i hope you guys take care bye babe yeah. she pooped i can smell it somewhere you put that on your bloopers mm -hmm. you smell it no nope. maybe she's just farting like she's about to she always farts man.